Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we performed CRUD operation into our API only application on the company resources. Now in this lecture, we will add role attribute into the user table. Okay. First, let me explain why we need this role attribute because we will authorize our application too so that a specific role can perform some specific action or the action assigned to him. Okay. So for example, if a user is super admin, then he can manage all it, the resources or the entire application. If a user is manager, then he can perform only assigned actions to him. If a user is admin, then he can perform assigned actions to him. Okay. So there are various scenarios. Okay. And we will implement that. So first we need the role attribute into the user table. So let's generate a migration and then we will add this role into the user. So go to the console and here you need to run rails the migration and then add role to users okay and then role string and press the enter once you run this command this will generate a migration for adding the role attribute into the user table so your migration has been generated now it's time to run the migration so rails db migrate and this will add the role field into the schema.rb okay and you can check it there into the schema.rb so the role has been added into the users table. Now what we need to do, we need to define an array of roles that we will navigate and we will implement the actions that this role is belongs to this user. Okay. Or this user is admin or this user is super admin or this user is manager. So we will identify using those methods. Okay. So first define the role, roles equal to, and here you can define percent W and into this let's add super admin then admin and then manager okay and these are three roles for now if you wish you can add as much as you want okay but i am adding just these three roles and now we need some methods to check that whether this user is super admin whether this user is admin or whether this user is just manager okay so how we can do that there are two different ways for doing that either we can create separate instance method for each role or we can use some meta program so i will show you both the ways okay so first we can use let's say super admin okay and just add the question mark here and let's make it role equal equal to super admin role equal equal to super admin okay. and then same for admin so just copy that and remove the super from both places and then same for the manager so here you can replace super admin by manager okay so now we can see if user is a super admin then if this this is true if users role is super admin then this method will return true and same both admin and manager if their roles are managers and admin respectively then they will return true else they will return false okay now you can see that we write three methods here and first of all let me show you that why i added the question mark here we add the question mark with a method name when we want to return the boolean value or some boolean output whether it is true or whether it is false so whenever so you also need to keep in mind this thing that whenever your method returns true or false then just add question mark with the method name this is the standard practice if do not if you do not add that does not ma matter but if you make that or if you add the question mark with the method name if it is returning boolean values then it is uh, easy to say that you are following the best practices okay now here you can see that i am using three different methods okay for three different roles suppose in future if i add another method let's say editor then i need to add one more method suppose if i add one more method let's say collaborator then i need to add one more method in that case what we need to do that we need to create separate method for each role and that seems not a good practice however that will work fine but that does not seems to be a good practice okay so how we can replace that we can just create we sorry we can just use the meta programming concept here to reduce the number of methods in our application or in our user model okay so just to save this for now and you let's see how we can use the method meta programming for this solution so we can use roles dot each do and then use role name okay and inside this loop what we need to do we need to use 
define method define method is a keyword which is used to create method at the runtime in ruby okay so we can use define method and then you can provide let's say role name and add the question mark at the last here and then just do and into this block what you need to do you just need to write the same thing that role equal equal to role name role name and that will work like this okay so now let's create uh, methods for collaborator and editor as well so we can replace this manager by editor and then do the same thing for collaborator as well collaborator and save this for now just to comment out this meta programming snippet okay so now if we check that how many methods are available for the user so you will find all this super admin admin manager editor and collaborator okay so let's switch to the rails console and run uh, sorry let's switch to the terminal and run the rails console command okay and find a user user equal to user dot last okay so you can find that and now just call user dot methods Okay, in user dot methods, scroll to the top and you will find all the methods that we defined into our user model. Okay, like uh, admin, super admin, and all that. Okay, so here you can see this is the super admin method, this is the admin method, manager, editor, collaborator. Okay, so we have all the five methods defined here. Okay, I think I am missing one. Okay, so five methods we are defined here. Okay, so if you remove all these methods now. If you remove all these methods and just keep this, okay, and reload your console and fetch the same, all the same methods again, then you will still see this super admin and admin collaborator manager and editor methods for this user. You can see it here super admin admin manager editor collaborator okay so what we can achieve with the meta programming that we can reduce the number of lines or number of repeatable code using meta programming and meta programming is just writing programs for programs so this snippet is writing the methods or creating the methods at runtime for users okay so we will use this snippet if you wish or if you are familiar with this snippet you can use this one as well okay it's totally depends upon you okay so i hope this lecture adds some value like how to use meta programming or when to use meta programming or what are the situations okay so i'm removing this so i don't want to keep the separate methods for each uh, role so i'm removing that and just uh, using this meta programming snippet if you wish you can keep that uh, separate method syntax okay so in that lecture we in this lecture we added the role attribute and we learned how to create pro methods using meta programming okay or how to use meta programming in a rails application or in a ruby program okay now in the next lecture we will move to the next step where we will create the authorization process and we will use the can 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 gem for that okay so Thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture where we will implement the authorization into our API application. Till then, Tata, goodbye, take care and stay safe.